Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out Fox Boss 9. I know it's been a while, but I'm doing a home repair today, not a truck repair. That's that's coming up. We're just stuck in the winter here. And the repair in the home is because our thermostat finally quit working. This thermostat here was purchased probably about eight years ago. And whenever we were replacing it, we actually had that old style that most of you have, the round one <laughs> that is like a gold color and it has a couple of knobs on the outside. And this one has done a really good job for us for quite some time. Unfortunately, they don't make it any longer. And while reading the reviews on the replacement of this one, I'm finding that it's not that good. The new one's not as good as this one was. So I did the logical thing and went with a Nest. But I didn't get the most expensive one. I got the one that's the Nest E, uh, the letter E. And the reason that I went with that one was for the most part, I saw a lot of the features were pretty much the same as the more expensive one, except the more expensive one has a couple more features, and one of them is a really nice high-definition display. But we're not really needing that. Uh, if you guys haven't followed us on our other channel, uh, we have a channel that's called RV Daydream, and I'm transitioning slowly from a mechanic that works out in his garage and a homeowner <laughs> to someone who is going to be traveling in an RV full-time uh, we still have a few more years of that, but my income slowly becoming a mobile income. So we're not needing to do a lot of repairs on this house because we're going to be selling it. And as far as upgrades, things that aren't needed, but I did want to have this Nest feature uh, available. The one feature that they offer that's really nice, and that's being able to control the temperature anywhere in the country from our phone, as long as it's hooked up to the Wi-Fi. Because as we're traveling, we may have a need to do something with the temperature in the house. It'll be nice to monitor that and, and to mess around with that and see how that works. But what I'm gonna do is show you guys a real easy, typical install of what it would take to replace your old style dial thermostat or if you've upgraded to something like this to that nest. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Here's the furnace that we have. It's a comfort maker, but this actually replaced a unit that we had uh, that was from the 90s and it, it's pretty much all the same like I said they haven't changed much over the years so we need to shut off the power because you can hear right now it's running and uh, it definitely does not want to be running and have any power going to those wires when you're messing with it so let's go to the fuse box so on your fuse box you're gonna have a fuse or a dedicated relay not only for your furnace but also your air conditioner. Now, because we're just coming out of winter, the air conditioner has already been turned off, but the furnace has not, so we're gonna turn that off too. And I don't know if you can tell, but it just shut power off and the fan quit blowing. Now, in this case, uh, there's some batteries that are in here to keep for battery backup power for the programmer that was on this. We'll go ahead and pull these batteries out. And now this unit will pull off from its base. Just like that. And you can see how old this is. This is some old 70s paneling that's in here. It's pretty dusty too. I'm going to remove these screws, but first we need to take a look here and at all the colors that correspond with the wires. Now, as you might be able to tell from here, you have WYG, R, and RC. Uh, that's basically the wires that could be used for this system specifically but we're not going to necessarily use all of them. In this case, you can see we have the same type of lettering as what's on here. We have a, a Y, we have a W, we have a C, and we have an R. So all I've got to do is just pull those wires and install them in that same manner. And if you look here, the wires correspond as far as color to what's on the box and what's on this new plate that we're going to be installing. And there's also a level on here. I'll talk about that here in a second. So white, yellow, green, and red. And you can see here I have a, a separate one. Like I said, that, that's from something that was long ago and the wiring the way they used to be <laughs> back in the day. So I'm going to pull these wires out and I'm going to insert them in this base. I'll show you how to do that. But first, we have to make sure that our new base will cover up this area and that we get the wire through the new base um, that this will install into. So let's go ahead and show you that. Now that I've got the plate in place 
with the wire routed through it first. I went ahead and checked the instructions and they show that the blue wire, which has never been used on ours, is a common wire that's uh, normally used. So I'm going to go ahead and install this common wire uh, because most likely <laughs> that's what it was supposed to be back in the day, but it was never used prior to that. So at this point I'm going to insert these wires into these tabs and you can see they're just little push buttons that releases them and that'll lock them in place and give you the colors that you need to this unit. This is like a, a main unit here. Then we'll go ahead and level it out and put some screws in but first let me attach the wires and let you see what that looks like. Now read the instructions. Uh, I mean they're pretty explicit. They tell you which wire should be going where and if your wire is marked a certain way, you know if it's an RC or an RH that it's just an R. Um, if you have something that's OB that's for uh, some kind of a heat pump. I mean they cover all the options so just read the instructions. That's the most important thing. Once I put the wires through this base plate and also this securement plate um, or module then I went ahead and slid them into its corresponding spots and you can see again yellow goes to Y1, G green, R red, white one and then I went ahead and put the blue common in. And I do have the casings peeled back a little bit further probably than you need to just in case one of these other wires come loose they might want to fall and touch that but I feel pretty safe securing it this way. So now what I'm going to do is align the base plate and this module will kind of click in place here. You know, see here, we'll get it, there we go. And now since there's a built-in level, you can level this and then uh, install the screws that holds this whole mechanism in. So let me go ahead and put the screws in this thing to hold it down. Now that I've got this installed, you can see that it's off center here. And the reason is, is because this is one of the original outside walls or walls that was load bearing to the outside of the house uh, from the 1920s. So it's gone through quite a few different changes over the years and the hole that was drilled behind uh, for the original thermostat and wiring is uh, really messed up. <laughs> In your case, you're probably not going to have as much problem as me. Um, this plate is rather large and it would have covered up the entire area if I was able to position it and center it. Um, except for a tiny little sliver. So I'm pretty happy with that so far. So now everything's installed, everything's secured. All I have to do is now install the nest onto the, uh, the module here uh, so it can get its readings. Whenever you're reinstalling the main unit onto the base, uh, you gotta push it on until it clicks. Make sure that you get this lined up. And remember, there's a ring on the outside that moves. So you want to get this lined up as much as possible and then just press it on until it clicks and you'll, you'll hear an audible click there and that's it it's uh it's secured it's not going anywhere at this point very nice uh, i like that i mean there's some movement because you're supposed to be able to touch this uh so it's just compressing itself that's all that is so you don't have to press very hard that's what i want to get out here let me go ahead and flip the fuse and see what this looks like now all right, so I turned off the light so you get a little bit of a, a better view of what's going on here. And now it's going ahead and asking you to do a setup. Now, in this case, you can see uh, we've got choices, but this doesn't have a touch screen. So what you do is you turn the dial and then press it down to make your choices. Confirm my choice. Internet connection. Connect to the internet for remote control updates. Yep, we want to connect to that, that's for sure. And we'll go ahead and hook up to my fast one. And now we'll do the password, which I won't let you see because I don't want you to use my internet. It's going through, getting its information now. And the thermostat is online. Press to continue. Checking for a software update. Automatic light. Cool. My location. Uh, local time. Determine the weather forecast. Okay. Sure. Yeah. No. I'm not not quite there. Close. I'm in uh, North America, obviously. Definitely in the USA. 
let's go ahead and get a zip code in here in the big metropolis of Beloit and we're single family and this is located in the living room heating and cooling are you a Nest Pro? No, I'm a homeowner. <laughs> Equipment, common, heat, fan, power, cool. Okay, looks like that's accurate there. Error, no power to the R wire detected. Learn more. So now I gotta find out why there's no power to the R. What the problem was, I didn't need that blue common wire connected. Remember, my old one didn't have it connected. I thought that it wouldn't hurt, and it didn't hurt anything. It just wasn't going to work. So <laughs> basically what will happen is if you have an air, which was probably a good example on this one, it will light up whichever one is incorrect. And in this case, the red R for the power wasn't working correctly, and it had to do with this common wire that I had connected. So I disconnected the common wire, and now everything looks good. And there we go. Heating cooling fan. That's kind of nice. That's what I have. I have a heating system. I have a cooling system. And of course I have fan only. And we are gas. Thank God. Gas is relatively cheap. It is forced air. So good. We're good there. Temperature. Should your nest begin by heating or cooling your home? Well, heating. And we want to heat it to... Fahrenheit let's keep it let's see what this thing does at oh I don't know let's try let's do 68 today now let's actually go to 67 and we'll be done and we're not going to do any cooling today so system test Let's test now. Yeah, let's test the heating. Testing W1 wire, the heat should be on. Check the vents, might take a few minutes for the air begin to flow. It's kicked on. It's running. That's awesome. The heat has been turned off. That is great can't do the cooling because the uh, again the air conditioner is all covered up outside I don't want to burn up that uh, unit that's out there and then nest app would you like to control this thermostat with the nest app yes getting an entry key so now I have to enter that information into the nest app so I went ahead and added the app to my phone uh, there's some setup features that you do uh, once the app is installed, I invited uh, my wife so she has access to it with her own account so she can make changes. And then I just set up a basic setup for this to control the house uh, using eco-friendly settings. And then, of course, you can adjust it as needed. So this is, uh, this is pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. Awesome. It says we're at 68. And if you want to change it, obviously, you could just do that. and It'll change the temperature. Um, I like it. It's saying that the room temperature currently in here is 74, and it's going to stay there until 4.30 p.m. Awesome. Of course, this thing will come on at night uh, when you walk past it, and then when nobody's around, of course, it, it'll, it'll go blank, so it's not blaring all the time. But this is a very, very nice, nice feature. Uh, this is the item. It's the Nest E. This isn't the high dollar one. This one goes for anywhere between $150, $170. I'm going to put the link in my description. Click the link. Now, there may be some pictures that show up here off to the side uh, that YouTube is trying to uh, have you click. Uh, this is the only way to ensure you get the exact same product that I got from Amazon. Uh, again, the link is in the description, so go down in the description where I have some words, some, some phrases, stuff like that, and you'll see a link. It'll basically be uh, get your thermostat here. Click it. It'll take you right to it. That way you know you're getting it from Amazon, and you're getting the exact same product from a qualified seller. I appreciate it, guys, and hopefully this worked out for you. Bye.